Hi everyone and welcome to Jay's Art Workshop. Today I'm drawing Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot aka the Penguin from the Gotham TV series based on the season one and two. I'm moving away from the ink and I'm, in this drawing I'm aiming to just use watercolour pencils. I also thought it was important to include the sign the umbrella sign which features in when he takes over Fish Mooney's bar and replaces the fish with his umbrella sign. Because I was copying from photographs I wanted to do something different and so I used different images of penguins and thought I'd incorporate that into the fabric and design of his jacket. Before I even attempted to put any colours on the original drawing I decided to do a few test test strips which was basically a scrap piece of watercolour paper and just try out different colours, different tonals, what worked, what didn't work and you feel free to make mistakes and you might get like a lucky hit and get a good result. So through doing your test strips just get it right on there before doing it on the actual image that way you avoid mistakes later on. The hands were a bit tricky to do but you just treat each image as the same that has the same importance as the rest of the image so every single element on your paper is just as important as the face the hands the collar the umbrella everything's is just as important it's not just a blank space oh i've got to color it over in blue i've got to do this you have to treat everything like it's the last drawing or the last piece that will make the puzzle the watercolor paper was stretched with gum strip now this is done because when you wet surfaces you the paper tends to warp and you won't get when you it'll just be an uneven surface so i did the red skin tonal colors first and i started with the head and the hands and then started to move on to the hair which is quite a that's what defines the penguin i think it's it quiffs to the left Whereas in a lot of his images, it quits to the, the right, his hair is swept to the right hand side. But it's, I looked at different images of him and it varies. I quite like the Penguin. He's one of my most favourite characters in, the, in season one and two so far. Um, he's quite devious, calculative. He likes manipulating people. He always manages to get out of scrapes, but it's fantastic. Going along on the picture... Um, I started to do the waistcoat, um, which was like like a checkered effect, which was quite simple to do. And I wasn't quite sure about the, the side colour on the jacket at first, because it was quite wavy and thin. Um, I kept on looking at other images, and it didn't look quite right. So I rubbed it out again, adjusted it, so it was more of a triangular shape. I wanted to add penguins to the jacket, cause, because originally it was black, and I wanted to do something different and move away from the photograph. It wasn't just a case of copy and repeat. I wanted it to be my own style. So I'm quite a surrealist buff. So I wanted to do the penguins. So I decided to the creases and the folds would turn into penguins. And like they're swimming towards, like on the right hand side of the arm, swimming towards different angles. Um, I've got two emperor penguins in like an arc as well. Um, it was really important to get the tonals right so you have a blue glowing effect. So when you put the pencil tonals down, you lightly shade. Then you wet with a brush, you light areas. And from the lightest area, you move outwards into the darkest areas. That's how you get the, the light tonals and a glowing effect. And I was going to leave it as is with just the blues, but then I decided to add black pencil to define it more. And I feel it works quite well. Again, um, I'm so used to using black ink and it was a pleasure not to use it this time. Whereas in the past drawing with cap, I used black ink and it kind of bled onto the flesh colours. I'm not used to like a purest black, but I'm quite happy with this watercolour black. Um, you keep building the hair colours up with layer by layer. Work out where your light areas are and slowly just build up your layers around that. I'm really happy with this piece and I'm 
because it's different from what I normally do and in the future I think I'm going to move more towards this kind of style. I feel I've captured the essence of the penguin and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Next week I'm doing Poison Ivy. I'm not sure, quite sure if I'm doing the Young Poison Ivy or I might just create a new piece on its own but it'll be dedicated to Gotham, Batman, Arkham kind of style. But that's bye from me and I'll speak to you next week. Take care guys.